It's only been two days, but I already found the best looking map, at least so far. This is an absolutely gorgeous map, and it's called Monkey Meadow, but at a different angle, made by Shark Pog. And I cannot give a shout out big enough to this person. I have no idea how they made this thing happen. Look at this. This is Monkey Meadow, but and, and I really like like these maps, which is a they give kind of a 3D forced perspective, I think that they call it. And I've seen a bunch of maps look like this, where it's basically let me just hit play and show you guys what's happening. So this is the blue somehow they made it to to follow the path of the of the map. So it's actually Monkey Meadow, but it's I, I don't know all of these props they've been rotated somehow to give a 3D perspective, and this looks absolutely gorgeous. I cannot believe this thing. I cannot believe how good of a map this is, and we're gonna be playing this one this is i think this is the absolutely best map that i've seen so far and you know what can we defend it like monkey metal <laughs> like this is the middle so let's play can we place three darts in here because even though the perspective is like kind of 3d it's not you know it's not actually 3d so maybe we defend it like this we're gonna have to kind of be careful about how we defend this but look at this thing this is absolutely gorgeous and i've seen a bunch of these 3d maps i actually you know what i noticed this thing and i made a list of a bunch of maps that look like this there was this one i remember the name it was called ring of fire and that that's just a gorgeous map as well it's kind of it has like two benches in the middle the sky is like pitch black behind and there's this somehow i don't know where they found it in the prompts like there's some fire prop or something like that and they made this this kind of this circle ring of fire then you have the balloons coming out from the left side and exiting on the right side i should probably show you that thing instead of explaining it i'm gonna i'm gonna make it appear on the screen as as i'm talking about it so you guys can see what i'm talking about that's just a gorgeous map i cannot believe the maps that you guys have created in this these past few days it's only been two days this is insane this is gorgeous and if you guys notice this map is it said at the top it was ninja kiwi verified so the guys in ninja kiwi they actually saw this map and they liked it as well and i'm gonna be honest this is probably one of the best ones yet so what are we doing today well i just wanted to showcase this map i wanted to start playing your guys's maps i'm gonna be creating an entire playlist filled with your maps so i will be going through the map area and you guys can drop your maps if you want me to to check them out and I will be making an entire playlist of just your maps. I'm going to be playing all of them. So this is the first one. I think this is an absolutely gorgeous one. But, you know, even though I, I guess I chose this map because it looks good. But we're not exactly always going for looks. So if you guys have an actually difficult map that, <laughs> that I can play, then I'm definitely going to do that. But we're doing this one on Chips mode. So let's start with at the end. I wanted to get at the end just because of the new skin. If you guys haven't bought it or haven't seen it. We're going to do a little bit of a showcase for that thing now. And it's round 15. So do we use the ability? I don't... Oh, actually... Oh no, wait, is this fine? I think it's fine, yeah, it's fine. Let me just check, you know what? I want to check the line of sight. How does it work? I mean, I know that, <laughs> I know how it works. It just, <laughs> this thing messes with my head, guys. I'm looking at this and it just, it just messes me up when I, I look at this. So let's just see like this. Okay, so wherever I place the sniper, the sniper has full vision, which is something that I would expect. So just like that, can we have, no, you cannot have anything, okay, in this, in the sky so this is completely i mean it's kind of obvious but you know maybe they, they kind of missed something and then maybe so you can have towers here and then can you have towers at the start no that's what oh actually you know what oh look at that so maybe we can place something in there you can hide the tower in there you know we got early access and i just now I, i'm now realizing that i am really not as creative as i thought i was because when I was trying to create a map, I was just trying to do it the old-fashioned way, the way that Ninja Cube was doing. But when I'm seeing these 3D perspective maps, it just goes to show that the community is, is so much more talented. And honestly, you know what? Can I just say this? What was stopping Ninja Cube from making a map like this? <laughs> like, is that a little too much to say? What was stopping you guys from making a map like this? I mean, this is like day two and the community is already winning. This is insane. So I, I got a ninja here. I don't know why I got the ninja. I think it's just like a safety tower, but we need to deal with lead blooms. So let's do that. Uh, you know what? This phoenix it actually got a little bit of a change so let me just try and get the phoenix this is gonna be our camel attention oh my god this is so this is messing me up i shouldn't have placed the wizard i should have had it here you know what we're gonna get two wizards anyway so let's let's get this thing over here i'm gonna buy two walls of fire the one at the back is probably gonna be useless okay let's get the dragon's breath and then the phoenix as you guys can see the price is a lot higher now and this thing apparently now has uh some light seeking i think they call it so uh i think these these projectiles i'm not exactly sure how it works because this is going to be my first time buying it so let's just buy it and see what's going to happen but this thing is incredibly expensive now it's eight thousand dollars i think this used to be i don't know well not prior to this update but like maybe a few updates ago <laughs> can i say that it was like i don't know it was closer to maybe like five thousand this specific upgrade and now it's eight i don't know that's a huge price increase 
So what are we doing? Okay, so let's give this guy to Arcane Mastery. I don't think this is going to be too difficult, guys, by the way. I think that this map is it's still a long map, and it's still just a one-track map. It's Monkey Meadow, in a way, but I uh, we're absolutely going to be playing through this. Okay, so we almost have money for the Phoenix, so let me get the Phoenix, and uh, let's see how this light-seeking attack works. I should probably be placing all of these towers, like... Wait, I can sell. Why can I sell? This is Chimps Mode, isn't it? Yeah, it's Chimps Mode, so why... Why am I allowed to sell? You know what? I'm actually going to sell. So it's zero dollars. We're not gaining any cash, but I'm going to sell these dark monkeys just so we free up a little bit of space. You know what? I'm probably even going to sell the ninja. Do I sell the ninja? Yeah, let's sell the ninja. And let's let's kind of have all our towers here in the middle. So, uh, I mean, this dragon's red wizard is not allowing these balloons to go anywhere. I think we're going to need to go into the 50s so we can see the balloons actually come out. Okay, so I just went through my list of maps that I want to try out. And first off, I want to give a shout out to the person that recreated. I think a lot of people actually did this, but there was one that was like specifically good. And they just recreated the main menu, which, <laughs> which is kind of insane because you can, we can now play in the main menu. That is, oh, you guys are coming up with just the weirdest stuff ever. I want to give a shout out to the person that made this other map called Lost Mines. And I think I'm going to play that one, actually. I'm not just going to talk about it like i do plan on playing it because somehow and i i wasn't able to figure out how this thing works and maybe it's like super intuitive i just missed it but what they managed to do is they um they created this path of balloons and it, the balloons come out and then they they walk into a mine and then they disappear and they become untargetable and i'm not sure how how they did that oh you know what let me just use the phoenix first and let's see what this uh i'm not exactly seeing the light seeking Am I missing something? Uh, it, this looks like just the good old Phoenix to me, honestly. Okay, so we're gonna have around 63 in a second, so we have to do something about it. And what do we do? Oh, actually, it's not even 63, it's the purple balloon. So let me use the UCAV. And let me, you know what? Let's do the Axis of Wizard. Why not? Let's, let's give ourselves a little bit of a challenge. So let's do this. And I think that that is a good spot for the Prince of Darkness. Maybe, uh, you know what? Maybe like move it over here. And then they walk out and go up. Yeah, there we go. We can't even see the balloons. Maybe I should have it a little bit. You know what? I should probably have it like this. So that we can actually see some of the action. And yeah, that's that's about it. Let's let's try and get the axis of wizard. Can you go past round 100, by the way? So for example, I have chimps mode selected. And we're playing up to round 100. But is there like a free play button after you win? I don't know. I've never, I've never done a challenge. So it's, it seems like in order for you to unlock a map and make it available to get played in all of the modes, you just need to beat it on one mode. So for example, you can create the most obnoxious map, I feel like, and you only have to beat it on easy standard and then the map gets unlocked for all of the game modes. Something that's been missing in the game are extreme maps. So if you guys have played BTD5, there have been extreme maps in BTD5, but there are no extreme maps in BTD6. So I think that this is the, the opportunity for the community to create these extreme maps because Ninja Q, I mean, to be fair, these experts, they, some of them are just, are just painful and some of them, you know, you have to do the perfect the perfect setup and, and like, you know, the start and, and the early games of some of them are just set in stone that you're not allowed to do anything and there's even some RNG in some of them. But just imagine that you can you can pretty much go go way above that <laughs> it looks like now with this area thingy. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be super fun guys. Okay, so what are we doing next? The Wizard Lord Phoenix is a little bit too expensive, but the base tower becomes a lot stronger. So we're gonna have an ability to play with and then this thing, the Archmage, I I don't know about the Archmage. That's kind of my thing. Like, I just don't know about it. So maybe we buy the Archmage just because it's not going to be that strong. I don't know. I've, I've kind of mixed feelings about this tower. I mean, it, it's good, but it's like... I feel like it's deceptively good. It's, it's not that good. So maybe... You know what? The Comanche Chimera got a nice, nice treatment. So maybe we should go for that one. So the price of the Comanche Chimera... Let me just check how much this thing is in chimps mode. It's, it's 34. Oh my god, it's the same price as the Archmage. Wait, these guys, is Ninja Kiri kind of grading these guys, the Archmage and the Comanche Commander, to be similarly strong? And you know what, we do, I just noticed, but we do not have a single village. So let me, uh, where am I buying the village? Maybe like, like let's try and get, can I get Etienne and the Comanche defense in the same village? I don't think, if I have it like this, is it going to get both? I don't think it is, but I'm going to try, I have to try it. So let's have it like this. So, at the end, he's not in range, and oh my god, this thing is not in range either. So, if I buy another village, though, uh, at the end, he's range now, and this thing is not. Oh, that's that's unfortunate, but you know what? I have a trick for this thing. I just, I'm not sure if I should be doing it, but I can increase the range of this village by a little bit by, I'm actually going to do it. So, if you go for the bottom hat, like, this thing is not going to make money, but if you go for the monkey down, 
and let me just buy it and then eventually the monkey city the monkey city is gonna increase its range even further so let's do that <laughs> let's just make sure that this commands because we don't need the mi wait a minute we do need the millipad because the Comanche cannot see DDTs. Yeah, I might have played myself a little bit with this one. Okay, okay. so let's let's find something else with DDTs. Wait, you know what we could do for DDTs? So now, there, this is one of the new changes with the Glue Strike that you no longer need the top pad in order for it to affect Moab class balloons. So maybe we could do that. Maybe we do something like a Glue Storm. And then we get, but we need to get the Comanche first. We need to get the Comanche Commander first. So let's just save up money for this one. That's going to be like the game winning tower in combination with Etienne and the Prince of Darkness. And I think at that point, we're going to have more than enough damage, but we're going to lack a little bit of DDT power, I feel like. Even though the Prince of Darkness is kind of nice, to be fair, but I want to get it as well. I want to get, I want to try out the new Glue Storm. So this is round 85. Let me just get the UCV just to get some damage going. I mean, maybe, you know what, even activate the Phoenix. Why not? This is going to be, I think this is going to be a nice tower in Chimps mode nowadays because it's kind of cheap. And you know what's also also cheap i think i mentioned this in my video but this thing is cheap as well the the trap which is now fifty one thousand. i think this one used to be uh maybe if i'm not mistaken this one was close to seventy thousand. i think when it came out and now it's 51 and it's the exact same thing by the way it's it hasn't been changed at all so it just goes to show that this was a, a very overpriced tower when it came out i think i mean that's just oh we have the money so let's get the comanche commander and let's also get Clue, which is we're gonna buy another discount <laughs> because we bought the bottom path village so i'm actually gonna go for the uh bottom path on this one so let's get it like this and this should be able to affect moab class blues now which we're gonna see on the next round with the dd so let's deal with this one first and then i'm gonna use the ability when all the ADs are on screen and we should be able to see what's happening so commander commander is this thing that good i mean this thing has been getting buffed update after update after update and i just can't believe that they're making it this strong i mean was it that weak actually or are they just over buffing it to this point i don't know okay so these are on screen and let me oh yeah it's affecting them look at that it's affecting them that's that's amazing i love that and yeah three more rounds left so maybe do we want to buy anything else i mean maybe i can buy something like a glue just to slow everyone down maybe like a mob glue have this thing on strong but i don't think this is necessary i think we have more than enough damage so let's you know what i'm gonna save the glue ability for the next one but i'm gonna use the phoenix and the drones now and let's just evaporate round 98 yeah this isn't even close we're so good <laughs> monkey meadow in 3d this is just such an insane map i i really love this thing oh wait these little dragons they change the color they're red now that's a nice little touch let's use the ability now by the way for these edts and there we go it's around 100 let's use everything when this thing comes in range so let's use the drones let's use the phoenix let's use the uca view which is gonna turn purple now and let's use the glue strike which is supposed to be yep it, it affects the bat as well that is amazing i really love that i really like that change there was no reason it was kind of confusing to have only the top path effect of uh, mob class balloons because no one knew about it but it's fine now i think it, it just affects everything and i really like that that's it that is monkey man can we do oh we can do free play look at that okay let me just give all the likes to this map first and let's hit free play let's see what happens oh yeah it's just like normal free play that's beautiful but i think i'm gonna end the video about here because we kind of beat the map and i wanted to showcase this one because this was the apps I, I don't think anything came even close to this map I and mean, you guys saw this thing had like 10,000 likes and i don't think anything else came close to this map so uh yeah i'm gonna end the video right here but thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you want to support the channel please use code either read in the blue store and i will see you all very soon because there's so much content to be done and i will be making videos and everything so stay tuned for those subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one